How much defense are you playing? Uh, right now, I'm not playing any defense uh, in camp. Uh, but if, I, if I'm needed for the team, then I'm definitely willing to play. Is there still a plan for you to play both ways, or right now just offense? Uh, right, for right now, I'm just playing offense. How is this year different for you, knowing that you, you know, you, you're the guy, you know, compared to last year being a freshman, kind of working? It's completely different. I mean, uh, last year I came in very fortunate to have Khalid Hill and Henry Poggi, uh to, to look forward and uh, kind of guide the way for me and someone to look after. Uh, this year, um, we got a very talented fullback room. Uh, Tyler Flocky, Matt Brown, Ben Van Sumeren, and Jared Wangler, they're all playing really well. So it should be a very exciting year. What have you seen from Ben so far? Uh, ben, he's, he came in just like all the other guys, and he has a very blue-collar work ethic, and he's working very hard. Do you believe offense will be, will be better this year? Oh, most definitely. Uh, one of the biggest things that uh, with us this year as an offense, we're really playing fast, which I think is going to pay dividends in the end. Much faster than last year. I mean, you notice a difference from just the overall speed on the field. It's much different. Uh, we're going to talk to Shane just a little bit. How much does he help with the speed of it all? Oh, Shay, uh, he's a very great player. He has a great uh, ability to extend plays, and uh, he he's very he makes great decisions along with all the other quarterbacks. Is he tougher at all to pass block for at times? Because you don't know when he's going to break out or where he's going to be all the time. Uh, not really, cause if if you just stay engaged with your man, uh, we've we've been doing a lot of drills uh, to help with that. Ben, everybody's talking. Uh, we we see the before and after pictures, transformation. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your off season. Yeah. So uh, come this off season, I was uh, coming off a little injury, so I'm I'm back to 100 percent, and. Uh, I see my biggest gains this off season and just my overall speed. Um, change of direction is much better, and uh, I feel really great about this year. What do you attribute that to? Is it is it the, the eating that Abigail is having you guys doing, or is it the uh, the workout regimen from Ben? You know, I don't think it's just one thing in particular. Uh, I think it's just the overall everything. Uh, to be great at anything, you got to put 100% into what you do. So that's nutrition, that's lifting weights, that's the mental aspect of the game. And I feel like I'm very locked in, and all the guys around me are too. Did you just finish sprints? You guys, yeah. Did you, did you just get done with practice? Yeah, we just finished up practice. Thanks for the time, dude. Where have you seen the most improvement along the, uh, the offensive line? Uh, the offensive line as a whole looks uh, tremendous. Uh, one of the biggest things with the O-line this year is just our ability to push people off the ball. I think they've definitely benefited from the new people around the building, Abigail and Coach Herb and his staff, and they just look so much stronger and more physical compared to last year. What's the most unique thing you've picked up from Ben? I think Caesar were talking about a bamboo pole you guys would have to hold. Um, the thing about Coach Herb is he has a vision of what he wants, and he uses the resources that we have to get it done. It's not just one thing. He really uses every single thing that we have in this, in this beautiful facility to just make us the best athletes that we can be, whether that's getting faster, getting stronger, just our overall athleticism, and he touches every, every base. How much are you looking forward to being a part of a Michigan-Notre Dame game? Oh, that's very exciting. Uh, it's a game, along with a lot of other rivalries in the country, that, that you just watch if, if you're a football fan. And I'm very excited. Ben, last year, they, you guys talked about you as being the strongest player, the old Bench Mason nickname, Fig. Are you still, you still uh, holding your title as the strongest guy on the team? Uh, that's not up to me. That's, uh, you would have to talk about to Coach Herb about that. Can you detail a little bit more about what you did differently with your workouts? Uh, yeah, so like I said, one of the biggest things that we did, uh, it was a lot more power oriented. So uh, we every single day we would lift weights and run. There wasn't a day that we didn't do both. So 
just being an overall athlete, he's really great for that. Did you guys not run and lift every single day before Ben got here? Um, yeah, it was like more of like a alternated thing. Okay. What is the uh, the confidence level that Shea brings to this offense? Oh, just what you can tell from just walking around, he has a presence. Uh, he's not afraid of anything, which is something very important that you need in a quarterback. And he just has this swagger that, honestly, it it's very uh, – it spreads throughout the team, and he gives off positive energy, which but is very good for a quarterback. But not co- – is it a cockiness? Or, I mean, how would you – you said it's presence and the swagger. It's not a cockiness, no. Uh, he's just a very confident kid, and he um, – yeah, he's confident. But what, how does that instill? I mean, in the offense, does the offense's level of confidence go up when you've got a quarterback like that? Oh, yeah, the quarterback's the leader of the team. So, uh, it definitely, it's huge for the offense. If the guy leading you is confident, uh, it's going to reflect on other people. And everyone around him is confident. We're confident in him. We're confident in the guys around us. So, I think it's very great for the football team. Time for a couple more for Ben. Ben, you mentioned Clid and, and Henry being a big influence. What's the, the one single thing that you take away from, from either one of them, something maybe they told you or showed you? One of the biggest things uh, that both of them really harped on was just uh, being a very complete football player. And I think at the fullback position, that's uh, – that's something that you need in order to be effective because if if you can run the ball, you can catch the ball, you can block, you're a triple threat. Defense doesn't know what you're doing. So just that keeps the defense on on their heels. So you're closer to becoming complete, a complete player like that? Yeah, I look at myself as a complete player. I can block, I can run, I can catch. And you can play defense? Yeah. I mean, do you ever do you look at their playbook much and you study some of the plays just to keep? I mean, yeah, I look at the playbook. <laughs> the defensive <laughs> playbook. I mean, for the linebackers. Okay. <laughs> Anything else for Matt? Who cuts your hair? Uh, I actually go right up down the street uh, to Coach and Four. What do you ask for when you go in? I just say, uh, I've actually been getting this haircut since I was like six. <laughs> My first year of football, every football season I've gotten it. My mom's gotten used to it. But uh, yeah, I just go in, tell them, give me a mohawk, but cut the back. It's called the faux hawk, so. I've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the time. Thanks.